Hi all, I am Vishaka Deshpande from India. At this World Forum in Macau, I am going to be the moderator for session number 14. And we are going to have interesting topic for you, where we are going to tell you uh, the importance of child-directed learning within structured curricula and benefits of design thinking. Dr. Gloria, Dr. Judy and Paula are going to share their immense experiences and uh, their expertise and they are going to talk more about what they have experienced all these years. So make it a point to attend our session on 10th April at 2 p.m. Let's sit back and listen what our presenters have to tell you. Hello, I'm Gloria Julius from Primrose Schools in the United States, and I'm thrilled to be part of session 14, Child-Directed Learning Within Structured Curricula. It's not news that the workplace has been changing and will continue to change with new technologies. As a result, Parenting and early education must shift paradigms so that today's young children are ready for a workplace that might not exist today. Personal skills such as empathy, honesty, motivation, resilience, problem solving, and being able to manage conflict are more important than ever before. It's never too early to model and foster these foundational skills. You've seen how babies are naturally curious and creative as they investigate their new world. And one way of helping young children develop and hone these skills is through design thinking. Children naturally use design thinking as they come across problems in their everyday play. All we have to do is encourage them to take risks and praise their efforts when they correct their failed attempts on their own. In this way, we're helping the children become tomorrow's innovators who are able to solve any problem the world throws at them. So come to session number 14, where you will learn more how you can incorporate design thinking in your classroom to foster important life skills in children while they play. We'll be looking for you. Jody Reek from CQ University, Australia. I'm presenting this year at the World Forum. I'm very excited about that. About, I'm presenting my research, which I looked at grade one and grade two teachers in the Queensland, central Queensland area, how they were using play pedagogies to deliver a standardised curriculum. I'm looking particularly at how, what were their successes, what were their areas of, of, of great achievement in, in delivering that through the play pedagogies, what were their obstacles. I'm really looking forward to joining you and having those discussions about how we can move forward as a profession in delivering our, our curriculum through a play pedagogical approach, not just only in our early years before um, schooling, our formal schooling, but how can we do that in our early elementary and early primary settings as well. Please join me in our session 14 to discuss this and lots more. I look forward to meeting you all then. Thank Hello you. everyone. I'm Paula Westpatrick, Manager of Children's Services at the Cridge Centre for the Family in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I'm very excited to be attending my first World Forum and sharing Session 14 on play with Jody, Gloria and Vishaka. They say it takes a village to raise a child. As early childhood educators, we all know how important it is to provide play experiences that will enrich children's lives and expand their learning. At the Critch Center, we partner with our various programs to do just that for the children in our care. I hope you'll join us as I share how our children are provided with a wide range of opportunities to interact with their environment and the people around them to ensure strong connections as they grow. See you in Macau!